the gaming culture has really f- like yeah. flourished in the last ten years. Gaming culture's jumped. Like I, I started playing computer games back maybe what, when I was grade eight. You, or you're the like one that got me into it. Yeah, because I used to play console a lot. Yeah, I used to play console a lot and stuff like that. And then it was um yeah I used to, I started playing more PC games. Like I played Bad Company two all the way through high school. Fucking just loved it. Like I said, five years of that shit because yeah. they didn't pump them out every year. But it was like uh, four years in between each um, Battlefield game coming out which was great because it gave time for that game to develop people to get really into it you know yeah. get really into the system how it worked this and that and then they'd bring out a new one which was which was fine because then there'd still be the old fan base playing it and stuff but nowadays it's like oh this year we got this game this year we got this game and you know what actual EA is thinking instead of making people buy games they're thinking of charging people $150 per year and they can play all the EA games yeah which I think is a lot better because uh, one thing that I actually appreciate is that at the moment, I've got a subscription to EA Origins. Same. Yeah, you got me on yeah. that, yeah. And I just pay them every now and then, and there's a vault of games that I can just go in and play. Yeah. I think, like, some of the catch, though, with it is that... You um, need to play all the time. You don't get all the DLCs. Yeah. Oh, no, no, no all, you it's, get it's, full. You can't get it. the yeah. base game. If you want to get the base game, you have to purchase it. But yeah. while you've got the subscription, you get the premium pass and everything. Yeah, I'll have to look into that, because i got no. Sims, unless it's a different kettle of fish. That's a different it's probably kettle a different kettle of fish, because Sims is, like... You get all the DLCs together, it's like $1,500. Yeah. It's fucking expensive. I just bought the ones I liked because yeah. I've got the Jungle Adventure, uh, City Living because I wanted the apartments. Like I wanted like the, the creative strictness of like having to build a house in an apartment. Like I think it's really cool. In uh, a jungle. Yeah. And then a jungle. You can build a jungle, a house in a jungle <laughs> as well. Great. City Living, Jungle One, which is like you can actually go through the jungle and explore. And um, I think that's And the Pets, Cats and Dogs one. Yeah, because that really helped to build our house in The Sims. Which yeah, but we'll actually give you. Oh, I don't know. We'll work something out. Yeah, you have to put it up one time. But um, no, EA. It's it's a great idea by EA. I really think it's a fucking wonderful idea. But not for people that are casual gamers. People that are full on gamers. Yeah, casual gamers. It doesn't work out. Like I only jump in on out of EA games maybe once every three months at the moment. Battlefield. Most of it's on Steam. Most of it's on Steam. Like I said, I'm playing No Man's Sky. So it's like games pop up that I enjoy and I play them. And yeah. it's like, I still have Sid Meier's Pirates, which is one of my fucking favorite games. I downloaded that one because yep. of you, yeah. I fucking love it. I just go around and fucking blast ships out of the water. It's just an arcade piratey... Top down. Yeah, top down view. You can trade shit. You can blow ships up. You can fucking make your own fleet, take over little towns. It's great. It's simple. So, my my argument towards uh, you saying that it's not good for like casual gamers, not saying that the, not saying the argument is good that it would well, be good for casual cool. gamers. <laughs> it's that uh, lonely old men and computers... Okay. We are lonely. Shut up, men. I'm not old. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm just I'm, lonely. <laughs> um, well, the way the women treat me, I'm feeling old. <laughs> no, but the, the my argument towards that is um, I can just point you towards my Netflix account where I haven't even touched it for the past month or the two. The household touches it, though. But everyone else pl- like yeah. everyone else in the house watches it. It's I'm not the one who plays. I'm he not the one who watches it. He goes to for touching. And so um, <laughs> I would say that it would be a really good strategy because a lot of people are willing to purchase, like pay this much and say like you get this year and it's like oh cool so I have that on the side and sometimes you just completely forget about it until you make the payment and you're like oh yeah I've got that and you go back into it and then you drift off again and then you make the payment and it's it's a it's a very much very good strategy from coming from a business point of view and um, it just it also makes sense for those who are uh, a bit more intense with their gaming where like they actually will hop on every day they will play Battlefield Battlefront they will pe- play unraveled uh mass effect all of those games yeah, so, yeah, yeah. Um, um yeah i don't know like i i'm not a big i don't know i'm in the middle-ish i think yeah it's a win-win in a way i call you a big gamer but you like your games are very specific like um hearts of iron and hearts of Force, sims so, yeah, and um, uh, city skylines city skylines like it, these are uh, a lot of, of like a your sandbox games where you're I creative like more age of vampires and stuff like that i enjoy that's not sandboxy and that, um, but Age of Empires, Rise of Nations, fucking that fool has me. Company of Heroes was a really good fucking. Age of Empires. Yeah, Age of I Empires. like three uh, was your Age favorite. Of three is my fucking. I love that one so much. See, I, I've like I play that a lot too. I couldn't get into that. I couldn't get into two. Two was one of my favorites, but then Rise of Nations when that came out, I fucking loved it. Yeah, you know I, what, I Ethan? Think it's my colonialism coming out. Like I just okay, fucking yeah. love the idea of just, See, I, I just, not the idea of like colonizing, but like the the area that game is well, is like. Yeah, there there would be home base because like the way you play it is like you earn experience in Age of Empires three throughout as you play like you'll explore the map you get points for it you like claim treasures you fight wars you kill units you get experience XP yeah and you spend the XP um in the home country 
like England, Ottoman yeah, yeah. Empire. Whatever. That's like Rise of Nations in a way, yeah. Oh, okay. They have that mechanic. In yeah, you, you, you expand, you oh. get um, points for expanding. you got to put like fuel wells and shit like that later on, obviously, and stuff like that. But yeah, you kill units, get XP, and then you, you can either choose like democratic or you can choose like um, communism, basically. Yeah. And, that, and then it like kind of splits off and you get like this kind of graph that goes up. And then they give okay. you little perks. It's not like a full in-depth game, but it's fun because you can cut it off at like the World War One scenario. Yeah. So it's like all World War One digging trenches and fucking yeah, shooting yeah, each yeah. other and stuff. Or oh, it starts caveman time. Yeah, caveman. What's the game? What's the name again? Sorry. Rise of Nations. Oh, what's the? It's like Empire Earth, eh? Rise of Nations. I think so. I think like, I've got that yeah. as well. I yeah. liked it, but then playing that, I was like, uh, I don't know. I liked the look of uh, Age of Empires. Yeah, Age of Empires is into that. Oh, the new one's good. Because... The the Rise of Nations one's good. I'll like they they brought up like a. It's like they did Age of Empires 2 again. They released it, HD version. Okay. And stuff. But yeah, no, I played that. That was fucking great. Like, Rise of Nations is fun. Yeah, you, can, you start off in Caveman era, you work your way up, get, like, nuclear, like, the nuclear and information age. And it's funny, if you, like, really rush it, just to get nuclear bombs, you can nuke people that are still in, like, the medieval ages. See, a lot of the games that I started off with, like, I, I started off with console, but I never veered off, really, to PC all too much, because I was... Uh, like a lot of handheld gaming, that was I was into that, like Pokemon, oh, like I Game bet you're Boy. Into handheld. Oh yeah. <laughs> um, but I was also much into like the single player console games, like uh, Fable. The, yeah. Oh, Fable. Fable. I never, no, Fable, Fable was console. fucking great. Fable, I fucking love that. Of, I never actually played. I never actually yeah. played Fable, but um, one of the one gaming genre that I haven't actually returned to in a little while. Every now and then I dabble back into it is racing. Racing used to be the genre. Forza is what I used to play. Um, Need for Speed to play Underground. Racing. Yeah, Underground 2. Underground, oh, yeah. Underground 2, Carbon, Most Wanted. Most I Wanted played was all of fun. those. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Gran Turismo was mainly the series that I played on. It's yeah. actually the one that got me, I suppose, more in-depth in cars because a lot of like your Need for Speed is more arcade-y. Yeah. But you're... Uh... Oh, geez. Cool. Okay, she's lying down. The, go- okay. the ghost is having a rest. Um, yeah, Gran Turismo, Gran Turismo is the one that got me a lot more into like the the te- professional like, racing, sort the of thing. engineering side of cars. Yeah, and got me more into like the well, how does this work? And I remember fiddling around with like a Nissan Skyline for anyone who knows about cars out there. But I changed the, all the gear ratios all the way to the end so that when you go to accelerate in the car, it just starts. It just goes. <laughs> for a good like 10 minutes and then all of a sudden once it reaches a good RPM it just goes rah, bah, 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 just all the way the to the end yeah. but it, it breaks the game so you're going 999 kilometers an hour oh wow really? I found out <laughs> so the gear yeah, would yeah yeah so like it, it's not realistic because it's, it's the no. first Gran yeah, Turismo yeah. but like you could break it so that you make the this skyline just fly all yeah, of so a sudden you, from zero to 999 you're doing shit. like you're doing like shit coming last and you just fucking get that and then you just like hold around the track and you overpass everyone like win with like three laps to spare but like you shit. can't control this shit because nah. it's just it just bashes fast. it bounces yeah. off the walls man just stay true push yeah. through yeah, yeah, yeah but yeah so I ended up playing like I played that all the way up to like uh, the PS2 PS3 yeah. era, and I eventually picked up uh, yeah, we'll, go, we'll go back to Tetris oh my god oh my god nah, no seriously Tetris, no literally Tetris <laughs> really? Tetris is amazing I, I, never, I love I never Tetris liked, I never liked Tetris have you played the old old one like the original on the NES not, not proper old original yeah no, see, we have to, have, have to do that night they're gonna, they're gonna love this actually I got I meant on PlayStation, you can get the original arcade style Pac Man. Yep. I've got that on my bedroom PS4 for whenever I'm like, I'm bored. Yeah, I that Price's parents on Twitch, you Twitch, Twitch. Ben wants you in their bedroom. Yeah, but they're, bedroom but, too. But, but they're Tetris fanatics, these guys. My mum gets worked up so much over Tetris that she starts swearing and cursing when a block goes in the wrong place, but it's her own fault, which is funny. And, that, and then she starts freaking out, panicking. And then she's like, ah, 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 and then she's like freaking out because she knows she's going to die. And then she dies and she's like, ah, fucking rages. And then she starts over again. Then she's I never, fucking, get, I and never then, get that intense, and then but she's Tetris like, is pretty awesome. No, man. And then she gets that shitty on the like next round. And then she like fucking starts getting like all angry face looking at it. Like fucking, I'm going to catch back up. And yeah. it's, it's fucking hilarious. <laughs> it's like Gallagher when we whip out Gallagher at home. I'm fucking... Mum's like doing the whole control, like oh no, oh, and like swinging the fucking. Moving I'm the like, control I'm helps like, though. I'm pretty sure it does, isn't it? Like it, it does for the fear factor. It does now. Yeah, but, but not back, back then. then it no. Didn't, no. Yeah, the and six axes. Yeah. <laughs> so it's pretty funny. Gallagher's a fun game. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But yeah, so uh, the only real PC game I really got, like I started getting into first person shooters originally on like Play- PlayStation Four, actually. Yeah. That's how late on I got into like first person shooters. The first one I actually ever bought was. Um, uh, Call of Duty Advanced Warfare, I think it oh was. Oh, God, you started shitty in the series. Yeah. That was a fun one. I it was. One. It was kind of yeah. average. I remember it's the other one. No, Modern Warfare 2 was good. Yeah, Modern Warfare 2 was good. That was where I had. Yeah. I had that one. That was good. So, I, I, remember, yeah. I remember playing it. There's a simulation where you got to save the president and it ran into this room. And it's Isn't like, it you Hillary gotta... Clinton? Yeah. No, it's like the, it's like this uh, 
random white guy. Uh, random like, white guy. Uh, you walk it, in. There was one of the games where it was. Yeah. Was it? Uh, I don't know. Oh, the zombies like had um, Nixon and like JFK and shit yeah, like that. Yeah, 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 I remember yeah. that. Okay, I just remember walking in, like they all have the president there and I'm and I'm, like, I knew I had to walk in and shoot them. I walk in and I shoot the first person I see. It's the president. Oh, whoops. <laughs> oh, this okay. is in the plane. Shot this is in the Air Force. No, plane. no, no, no. This is in a base. This is like a oh, simulation. Okay. Oh, That's okay. fucking hilarious. Yeah. Um, cool. And so uh, I, I ended up trading that in because it was kind of shit. I played Wolfenstein for a little bit as well. I could never, never really, really get too much no. into it. I got into Wolfenstein a little bit later on. It was after Star Wars Battlefront that I really got into the first person shooters. Um, and uh, Sniper Ethan, Elite's good. Ethan, was, uh, Ethan had um, his PC and he'd like set up. And I was like, okay, look, I'll try it with a keyboard and mouse. And the first time I ever played a game of uh, Battlefield on my PC, uh, PC, I was just like one. this. Like I've seen the light. Like but I love, mouse, I love first like, person shooters. His, is his the preparation best. to build up to like playing PC. Like I had to buy all these little extra bits and bobs. You plug in your computer, like this mouse that has like an urban ergonomic mouse that has a mini keyboard on it. And oh, stuff yeah. like this. It's like all a keyboard. To, no, mouse. he got really into it. Really, I only had like to try little... and to just for him no, to try and like bridge over. That's what he was. That's that's how I, I remember that. It. Yeah, you had and to bridge like, over. Yeah, dude, it's just a keyboard and mouse. I still got it. Yeah, you still got it. But now he, which I still use it actually, barely though. Yeah. I'll, every now and then I'll you, pop on it. You know, you but can like, just get console controls like plug into the yeah. PC. I know you can get like the control. Like yeah, we have the PlayStation like, ones at home and shit. That's what I was I doing. Just, but I wanted to use like the the mouse because yeah. I the mouse is like using a mouse in like a yeah. first person shooting game so much, so much better. So much better. 